of technology. Uh, can you hear my voice? Yes, all fine. Okay, okay. Uh, it's my honor to be invited by CASPO organizer to report our team's work for ligand bending prediction. We know that uh, the first uh, docking program is UCSF dock. Traditional molecular docking, such as UCSF dock, usually use the bound receptor structure for docking. But the CASP ligand bending challenge is different. The receptor structures are predicted from sequence, usually not in a bound state. So it can be regarded as unbound docking. The unbound docking increases the difficulty of ligand bending prediction. We use a similar template-based method developed by our group, and it was applied in capillary experiment previously for protein-protein docking. Uh, this is the website. Different from our previous template-based methods, here for ligand bending prediction, a structure-based 3D line algorithm is developed by our group and used for both of pocket template searching and ligand alignment. For pocket template searching, the alpha carbon uh, atoms in protein pocket are set as nodes. For ligand alignment, all atoms in ligand are set as nodes. A set of four adjacent nodes is defined as a clique. Then matching, uh, matching, yeah, matching is formulated as a graph theoretical program, which attempts to find the maximum clique, uh, maximum clique uh, between the request uh, structure and the template structure. We use the exhaustive matching algorithm as UCSF doc program to search the most similar template and generate a rotation for alignment. Therefore, the flow chart of our docking strategy is shown in this slide. First, modeling the receptor structure from the sequence. The receptor structure is predicted by alpha fold two or from the CASPO organizers. Then the template of the receptor pocket is determined by our 3D line algorithm. Ligand structures are aligned to the small molecules in the template. Then uh, finally, a 3D CN it's used to score the docking poses and the top five conformations are selected. Upon solving the ligand prediction program of CASP, we also standardized the, the algorithm as a docking protocol. It was tested on CASP 2016 and showed better performance than the winner program. For top one pose, 76% systems are predicted as RMSD less than one astron, and 83% 18, systems are predicted as RMSD less than two astron. This one and this one. Uh, let's look at the performance of our program in CASP 15. Here we use the experimental structures provided by CASPO organizers to align and calculate the RMSD of ligands. On the targets displayed in bond formed, we successfully predicted almost all the ligand poses. On the targets displayed in italic formed, we partially uh, predicted the poses of ligands. At the same time, we show the template PDB structures in the table. There are two RNA sisters that we filled. We used the server predicted RNA structures provided by CASP. However, 
the RMSD of predicted structure is far away from the experimental structure. So uh, the in incorrect receptor structure uh, led to the fear of ligand prediction. Similar to the last slide, to sum up, most of our systems can find templates, but we can't find any templates for T1187. And the ligand is polyglucose, polyglucose with high flexibility. So the prediction is fair. Here is successful targets predicted by our group. T1114 has a lot of ligands. Yes, 56 ligands. Uh, so we take one of the repeat unit units as example to see the prediction of seven ligands, uh, like this one and this one. Uh, and the poses are almost uh, uh, correct. This is also the successful targets predicted by our group. T1158 has four different ligand bending models and we are all predicted correctly. Uh, you can see these five pictures. Continue, uh, T1170, uh, H1171 and H1172 are all bound to the same ligands. The only difference is that H1171 and H1172 also have different multiple states. So we only analyzed one of them and we can see that AGS, ADP and magnesium IELTS have been predicted uh, correctly. There are partial successful targets predicted by our group. For T1118, we want the bending sites uh, of the ligand are predicted correctly. Uh, but the confirmation of ligands are far away from the crystal uh, structure. Um, you can see uh, here. Uh, for T1135, the pose of uh, per potassium, potassium ion is predicted correctly, you can see here, uh, but the pose of uh, chlorium ion was incorrect. For T1181, the position of some zinc ions are, clo are relatively close, uh, you can see uh, this one, uh, but the ligand OAA and the uh, uh, calcium ions are predicted incorrectly. Uh, so uh, this is the ions and uh, this is OAA ligand. Again, OAA is uh, polysaccharide uh, molecules. Uh, the pose of small molecular ligand of T1188 is basically correct. Uh, you can see this picture. Uh, but there are two incorrect predictions uh, for the metal ions, uh, this one and uh, this one. Okay. There are three field uh, targets. T1187 and two RNA systems, R1126 and R1136. Then, uh, to summarize the challenges of ligand bending prediction, the first is incorrect receptor structure, uh, which has a great impact. We use the structures provided by CASP for RNA targets. However, some of them, the MSDS of receptor are too large, so the ligand could not be predicted correctly. Uh, These two targets. Uh, because of the unbound docking, the side chain orientation of predicted 
protein are also different with the crystal structure, which will have an impact on the ligands, especially for those with the pi pi interactions, pi pi interactions, uh, you can see. Uh, for example, the ligand of MQ7 in H1114 and DW0 in T1188. Uh, for T1188, uh, even if the prediction, uh, predicted pose of DW0 is correct, um, the MSD value is still larger than five Astra. You can see the, the side chain of this residue and the, the side chain of this residue. Then, uh, in summary, uh, in summary uh, first, our docking protocol combined template-based searching and 3D CNN for protein ligand structural prediction. Second, RNA ligand prediction is not good, which is related to the large MSD of RNA structural prediction. Third, cusp ligand band bending prediction is an unbound prediction, and the side chain of protein has an in uh, has an impact on the ligand structural prediction. Finally, I would uh, like to thank CASP organizers and the Professor uh, Xiao Qing Zhou and the Professor uh, Chen Xing Wang and the primary biotechnology. Uh, thank you. That's all. Any questions? Do we have questions to Shanjan?